Alright, this is uh, video 4, so we're approaching the halfway point of this challenge. This challenge is actually quite quick and this should be a short video. All I'm going to show you how to do really is use the LCD command and you're pretty much adapting the circuit in the flowchart you did for challenge 3, uh, but instead of lighting up loads and loads of LEDs you're just going to write a message, either well two different messages to a liquid crystal display. That's what LCD stands for. Now. I realised I could actually block out the circuit for you now, so I've just drawn a box around it. But I'm just going to show you what I want it to do in case it's not clear from the little written explanation here. Uh, uh, yeah, that ain't going to work. Hold on a second while I pause and fix it. Right, I'm back. Okay, so this is what should happen. Um, when the temperature is below 30 degrees, as it says up there, I want it to say cold today on the explanation. And when it gets above 30, hot today. Okay, simple as that. So cold today, hot today, depending on the temperature. Now, what you're going to have to do is, depending on how you've set up your temperature sensor, uh, if you remember in the last video I talked about how, um, if we look at the analog sensor readings, we talked about how an analog input on a PIC chip gets split into um, a range of values between 0 and 255. You're going to have to find out which number and I'm not going to show you on mine, Cor so which number between 0 and, and 255 corresponds to 30 degrees. So you can get your degrees reading off here and you can get your number off there, but I'm going to leave you to figure that out. Um, right, I'm just going to pause it while I wipe the flowchart and then I'm going to show you how to use the LCD command. Pause. Alright, I'm back again. So the LCD command is dead easy. You go down here and there's a special box for it, which is called LCD. Um, if you ever get onto using, if this anyone else is watching this video is not one of my students, if you ever get onto using LCDs with other PIC chips like the pickaxe chips, which are really good, uh, they just have like a code, like a piece in the basic code that you can type to control liquid crystal displays. It's pretty similar, but anyway, for Circuit Wizard they make it even easier. So double click, and it's really nice setup. This you've got to tell it here which output you've connected your display to. I think I used output 0 on mine, so we'll soon find out. And all you do here is you say what you'd like it to say on each line. So I'm going to put in hello world, that's what you normally do, really sad cliche for when you type something in computing. This is a test. Now remember you're limited to 16 characters per line, so if you carry on typing here you'll see what happens, it won't print it. Anyway, you've only got to put something on the first line. Um, by the way, spaces count as characters. Okay, so you may have to use spaces to overwrite messages when you're flipping back and forth. You'll see what I mean. Basically, if you flip between two messages and you get some characters left over, um, you might want to build spaces into what you've typed on the other messages to kind of overwrite them when you refresh the display. Right, I wouldn't bother ticking that box, that just means everything comes along slowly like it's being typed. What I would do though is in display, it by default it ticks this clear screen box and it's not really a problem but what it does is it makes your message flash every time it goes past that part of the program it flashes on and off. It just looks a bit naff. If you untick it, um, you won't get that flashing effect and your message will look nice and stable. Okay, So there we go, click OK and I'm not going to show you how to hook that up to the temperature sensor bit, that's your job so all I'll say is use what you learned in challenge 3 and just to prove it works, if I go back to here and press play hello world, this is a test ok, simple as that so that's how you use the LCD command as it says there, you've got to make it do uh, basically say hot, that hot today when it's above 30 degrees and cold today when it's below 30 using what you know of programming there we go